this video, I want to show you a couple of really nice features in Micromind 2020 that help you take structural readings uh, inside of the VizX environment. So here I've imported a point cloud of a, a LiDAR or a photogrammetry scan or image. And you see it's points and those points are actually with color. And we can see in this that we've got um, three main uh, joint directions. So we've got this one here, this one here, and this one here. So let's take some readings from that. To do that, we're gonna use a brand new tool in uh, Micromind 2020 called the Working Plane. Um, it's got many uses, but I'm gonna use it in this instance. So I'm gonna use a Working Plane defined by three points. Here I can snap three points to my point cloud. And it's created a plane. If I select that, I can um, change the size of it. I could alter the rotation if I wanted to. Uh, but what I can also do is see in the properties here, I get all the information about that plane. Now, this is a really neat feature here. I can turn that into a wireframe so I can use it for Boolean operations or building faults and stuff like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the information that's in the properties and put it into a file. And we've got this new option called copy all columns. And I've got a file made up here already. I can paste directly into that. So really quick way of getting information from the properties there. So if we just go and measure a couple of more structures. There's the other one, so I can copy that. This there, and turn that into a animation as well, which is nice. If we just rotate around and zoom in, you can see that other structure there. If that makes sense. There's one there, there, and there. wireframe and we'll take this data put that into here give them a location ID so I can just quickly increment that and the type the neat thing now is that I've got my data here and I can go and have a look at this in a stereo net so I can go to display stereo net file that I've just created, which are two those properties. And there are my three points that I've created. I can go and play with my stereo net and display planes. I can even build uh, groups of information around my data. So I can use the grouping tool here. One group, there's another group, there's another group, and that obviously I've only got one point in there, but if I had multiple points, hopefully they would all be centered in there and I can see my nice um, crossings and joint sections. So yeah, some nice features there in Micromind 2020 for taking geotechnical readings.